What's up guys, my name is Stealth and welcome back to another Marvel Spider-Man 2 related video. And today, I'm going to be discussing if we'll see if Yuri Watanabe, aka the Wraith, will finally make her debut within the game. But before we dive into all this, if you're someone like me who is eagerly anticipating to see if Yuri will make her full transformation into Wraith and potentially see her make her debut within the game, then be sure to scroll down right now and hit that like button. And if you might be new to my channel and you want to stay up to date on everything relating to Marvel Spider-Man 2, well then I got you covered. I'm going to do more discussion videos such as this doing reaction videos to all the trailers and gameplay, as well as doing a let's play and a review and so much more. So if you want to make sure that you're completely up to date on everything surrounding Marvel Spider-Man 2, I got you covered on all of that. So be sure to subscribe to the channel and hit the notification bell so that way you won't miss out on any new videos. And with all that being said, let's jump in and let's talk about this. Alright, so just like with my Mr. Negative Returns video, the next character that I want to discuss on who can potentially be included within Marvel Spider-Man 2 is none other than the former captain of the NYPD, Yuri Watanabe, who also goes by her soon-to-be persona, the Wraith. And in my opinion, Yuri was another one of my favorite characters throughout Spider-Man PS4, with her having this amazing best buds connection with Spider-Man throughout the game's main narrative, and that also goes for the incredible chemistry between the voice actors for both characters with Yuri Lowenthal and Tara Platt. Now the first thing that I want to go over before I answer the question if Wraith will finally make her debut, is to go over the events leading up to Yuri slowly transitioning to her other persona within this game's universe. So as we see during the main narrative throughout Spider-Man PS4, the bond between Spider-Man and Yuri is a strong buddy cop duo where they're able to work together to stop all the crime and chaos that's happening throughout the main story. However, things are about to take a very bad turn for our heroes during the City That Never Sleeps DLC, specifically during the second chapter, that being Turf Wars, where the DLC opens with a hostage situation where Hammerhead and the Magia have taken NYPD officers hostage in the old Harlem Sanitarium. So while there's a standoff on the ground between the NYPD and the Magia, Yuri assembles a squad of officers to sneak into the sanitarium, while Spider-Man gives the officers caught in the standoff a hand while Yuri and her team rescue the hostages. After Spider-Man is done dealing with the Magia, he enters the sanitarium to give Yuri a hand, but their communications are jammed, and soon he discovers that she too has been taken hostage by Hammerhead. While Yuri is captured, she's forced to watch her men be killed by a Hammerhead one at a time. But before Hammerhead goes to finish off the last remaining officer that's alive, she finds a window to take down the Magia thugs and demands Hammerhead to drop the gun that's being held to the officer's head. But Hammerhead taunts her, saying that she won't do it, and that he sees the fear in her eyes. But before she makes the call on what to do, Spider-Man disables the lights and leaps into action to stop Hammerhead, and we can hear gunshots being shot in the dark. Then after the fighting has stopped, Yuri uses her lighter as a flashlight to see what happened, and finds that she accidentally shot and killed the last officer that was still alive, and she feels guilty and sad about what happened. Then over the course of the DLC, we start to see her descent into rage and revenge on trying to kill Hammerhead for what he did. And we also learn when Spider-Man is taking out Magia hideouts that MJ has found out that Yuri's father who was a former police captain was corrupt with trying to take out the Magia without no one knowing. And it's up to Spider-Man to stop Yuri before she does something that could change her forever. During the finale after Spider-Man defeats Hammerhead, Yuri arrives and ties down Peter with one of Sable's electrified ropes and she points a gun to Hammerhead's face, reciting the line that he said to her back at the sanitarium before pulling the trigger but Peter is able to get loose and uses his webs to pull the gun away, but he was only able to move the gun slightly to his head after the shot is fired. Thinking that she killed him, Yuri was forced into administrative leave, and that is all we know with what happened to her. That is until during the next chapter of the DLC, Silver Lining, where after Peter rescues Silver Sable from the sewers, he comes across a body that's hung with purple and yellow strings, and finds an audio recorder about a therapist talking to a Magia thug, where the Magia thug asks him to give him information about Yuri. But as Peter continues to collect more audio tapes, he finds out that Yuri is using the therapist to try and get the Magia thug to spill the beans on Hammerhead. But during the final recording where the therapist is getting coffee, the Magia thug shoots him and is presumed to be dead. After the recording is finished, Peter gets a phone call from Yuri where she tells him to meet her at a certain location. When Peter arrives, he finds the Magia thug in the recording dead and strung up with the purple and yellow strings like all the other victims. Then Yuri calls again and says the police system is broken and that she delivered true justice. Justice. Peter then says to her that she is his friend and he doesn't want to come after her, which then Yuri replies with she'll do what she has to do. And then the call ends with Peter feeling sad about the path that his former partner and friend has taken. So now seeing how Insomniac has handled Yuri within Spider-Man PS4, and the question that I want to answer is to if we'll see her make her official debut as Wraith, it's obviously an easy yes. But as to what kind of role she'll have, I think personally she might be part of the main story. Now the reason why I say she'll be part of the main story is because 
because the main narrative will most likely be focused more on Peter. And so by having her be in the main story, it will send Peter into so many emotions as to how he handles with seeing his former partner in crime, taking the path that she's chosen, and is conflicted on stopping her before she does something horrible. But there you guys have it. Those are my thoughts if I think Yuri will finally make her debut as Wraith within the game. Just like I said in my Mr. Negative video, at this current moment, we're not sure what other characters will be included in the game. But I guess we'll just have to wait and see if she will be in Marvel Spider-Man 2 and see how Insomniac will handle her. But now I want to hear from you guys. Scroll down and let me know in the comment section below if you think we'll see Yuri return as Wraith and how do you think Insomniac will handle her within the game. Let me know your thoughts down below. Be sure to leave a like on the video, subscribe to the channel, and hit that notification bell so that we won't miss out on any new videos and to stay up to date on everything relating to Marvel Spider-Man 2. My name is Stealth and I'll see you all next time. Peace out guys. Thank <laughs> you.